Maybe. So I, maybe. Like I, but I, I got to say, Chrissy, like, I actually had a moment this morning about this. Because, again, I don't, I don't share much in the world of political and ideological agreement with Miss Kelly. And she doesn't like me very much. But that said... The thing that I think is odd here is what I was appalled by in that comment was she's a lightweight, she's not too bright, you know, she comes with her little, you know, words written right. down. But that isn't the thing people were mad about. Like, if that were the, the bridge too far, I'd be down with it. I'd be like, yes, get it. But it seems to be the suggestion that a woman of childbearing age menstruates. There's a bridge too far. Like, we know God, women's bodies are so disgusting, so vile, so awful, that even though we can spend our entire debate talking about regulating them, we can't right. talk about menstruation. Because th then, now, well, Mr. Trump, you have gone too far. And that actually worries me. Well, I think the 17 candidates should worry us because they're so obsessed with women's bodies. I mean, we know that Donald Trump is a race-baiting misogynist. We know this. We have proof and facts. However, I, I think I was more appalled when, before all of this happened, when he's in the debate essentially joking that he has called women pigs and, and made similar comments in the past, and none of his nine counterparts ever said, excuse me, sir. That's highly inappropriate. Well, let's listen. Well, let's listen to Megyn Kelly because she was very clear that she right. thought it was inappropriate. She was. Let's first take a listen. And here we go. Do we have it? Uh, do we have it? Nope, we don't. Okay, so we will.